Monday Monday night was the first news pro- broadcast I watched on it, so that was pretty devastating. After that first newscast detailing Samantha Gowdy's public intox arrest and growing fame on Twitter as Vodka Sam, she was bombarded with phone calls, endorsement offers, and interview requests. But she didn't want any of it. I care about my life. I didn't. I could have easily just taken this opportunity and ran with it and been Vodka Sam my entire life. But that's not why I came to college. I didn't come to college to drink and be Vodka Sam. In the moment, you know, I was tweeting from jail because my friends follow me on Twitter, not like the entire nation. I was completely embarrassed just of the whole situation. I hated going to class. Um, I've struggled with depression, so I kind of went into a depression for a little bit. Uh, I called my parents a lot. I met up with Samantha's family here in Burlington, Iowa, her hometown. Burlington is also home to Snake Alley, one of the curviest streets in the world. As you can see behind me with its twists, turns, and bumps, its path is similar to Samantha's own journey. Samantha began intensive inpatient therapy for an eating disorder in 2012. She was hospitalized for three months. To have your own child face something like this is just, it's tough. It was, when she got so bad, we just had to turn her over to the hospital and let them help her. I got this tattoo on my foot. It says, never failure, always a lesson. I got that when I was in treatment. Cause I used to for the longest time think that I was just failing and like I couldn't eat. I know what people that are going through it think and how it's hard to like ask for help. And I just wanna help people through that process. Samantha graduates in May and plans to go to graduate school for social work to help those struggling with disabilities and other challenges. Most people who are any good at that at all have lived it. You know, they used to have the expression, you'd walk a mile in a man's shoes to know how he was. Well, Sam's walked that mile plus. I want to be, like, happy. You know, money doesn't make happiness. Like, you just have to be happy, and that's what I want to be. I'm just really proud of how she's handled the whole situation. That takes a lot. That really does, to step up and, and talk about, you know, some of the worst times of your life. I need to fix a lot of the problems. Like, I still struggle with my eating disorder. I struggle with depression, and I'm still kind of working my way out of this mess. So I feel like I'll get there, though. Do you see a light at the end of the tunnel? Yeah. Some days I don't, but there is one. Melissa Dawkins, Daily Iowan TV.